morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the change of command ceremony for headquarters company, at which Captain Jason D. Gross will relinquish command to Captain Nathan C. Wolhoff. Will the guests please rise for the invocation given by Chaplain Pease, Chaplain Corps, United States Navy, and remain standing for the marching of the colors and the national anthem. Let us pray. We ask your blessings, Lord, upon all who answer the call and make the commitment to serve in the United States Marine Corps for the sacrifices they make, for the hardships they endure, for the families they represent. We especially ask your blessings upon Captain Wolfall as he takes the leadership of this great company. Bless him with the twin virtues of wisdom and compassion. We also ask your blessings upon Captain Gross, Carrie, and Alex, and Stephanie, and celebrate with them their daily reunions as a family. I will give you thanks for Captain Gross's clarity of vision, his commitment to professionalism and excellence, and above all, his integrity. As he was a blessing to those of us who were privileged to serve with him, bless him as he and his family make this transition in their lives to follow a new and challenging course. Let your face shine upon them this day and every day. Give them peace. Hear our prayer, O Lord. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Now taking their positions are Captain Gross and Captain Wolhoff. Attention to orders. From Commanding Officer, Headquarters and Service Battalion, to Captain Jason D. Gross. Effective 13 June 2007, you will relinquish your duties as the Commanding Officer, Headquarters Company. Headquarters and Service Battalion, Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego, California. From Commanding Officer, Headquarters and Service Battalion, to Captain Nathan C. Wolhoff. Effective 13 June 2007, you will assume command of Headquarters Company, Headquarters and Service Battalion, Marine Corps Recruit Depot, 
San Diego, California. Signed, M.D. Redfern, Colonel, United States Marine Corps, Commanding. Gentlemen, the commanding officer of Headquarters of the Service Battalion, Colonel M. D. Redford. Good morning. Colonel Sinclair, the usual is where you sit in your seat here. I said he always stands in the back. Don't worry about it. Colonel Sinclair, welcome. Colonel White, welcome. Guests, friends, and the family. Cat Gross, I welcome you all to the stage of command. I uh, see uh, a little omen there as he, as he turned over the flag of command of headquarters company. He's moving on up to be the OPSO. Now you know he's going to be just as controlling from the OPSO as he was the commanding officer there at headquarters. But uh, it's a great day for headquarters service battalion as a whole. Appreciate the band coming out, appreciate the color guard. Being here. It's a great day. The fact that uh, we're not losing a great commander, gaining a great option. As, as things go, uh, Captain Gross came to the, to the battalion last year. And uh, as a, he's a 19 year vet in the Marine Corps. The first thing we threw him in as a headquarters company, we had him. Uh, he had to, deal with uh, the H-Men. He's done a great job. Uh, he had the, uh, the, the first challenge was uh, uh, almost immediately uh, when we had uh, some of the things come down from uh, headquarters Marine Corps with the Sergeant Major of the Marine Corps. And uh, uh, Captain Gross did an incredible job uh, with his leadership in the Marines and, uh, and over there at H-Men. And uh, with his first sergeant as well. Uh, did a tremendous job turning things around and helped support not only the Marines to recover, but also the families uh, get the support they needed over there. I'll tell you, I'll tell you that being a company commander and a course company is sometimes a challenge. Not sometimes, it's pretty much all we can do. As a commanding officer of headquarters company, he's in charge of the Marines he has. All, most of them work up in building 31. Being a young captain, albeit he has 19 years in the Marine Corps, it's always a challenge when you deal with the OICs and uh, then our senior team. And I will tell you that Captain Gross had handled every, every task that he had, every requirement he needed to fulfill with dignity. I know that's a challenge. I also know with this experience he's had in that course of time that he'll do a great job as, as the OPSO. I know he's, he's a little bit of a myth that he will not be able to buzz the rock and roll marathon. 